Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly good morning, good evening, good afternoon. And thank you for being here and thank you for the super thanks. Okay, you guys. So first I'd like to say thank you to everyone who was putting out prayers and well wishes for my stepfather, whom is a fantastic human being. He has been amazing to my mother and they got very, very fortunate, very blessed that uh, they were behind the wheel. He was behind the wheel when he had an episode. He said it felt like someone injected him with uh, anesthetic, you know, like uh, anesthesia. He's, he can feel himself slipping away while he's behind the wheel. Very fortunate that they were on a side road, a normal road going at kind of a relatively slow speed so that he can pull over. But he did damage his car because he hit a pole had they been on the freeway, things would have been entirely different. Uh, so he had his heart pacer put in, and I was there last night when he got out of surgery. So everything is good. And so I feel we feel very uh, blessed and fortunate that things unfolded the way they did. It could have been come out very differently. So thank you, everyone. So today I'm going to talk about Megan trying to upstage Harry while he's doing a polo game. Yeah, and it was also from Backgrid. And um, I got this video idea from uh, the Royal Grift. So if you want to go see that, uh, she's basically walking with mortal wounding. Uh, you could tell the mask is off. The eyes are very dark, very distant, very detached. That's that sort of depersonalization, derealization. That's that emotional disconnect. And then their, their mask drops and their eyes look dark and very disturbing. And that's the look that uh, you can tell in the eyes. That's what you're seeing. It's that very shamed and disgraced to a point where she feels that she can never feel good about herself again. And, and that mortal wounding devastates their pride and self-worth to a point where, you know, all their losses are associated with failure, which they don't do failure. You know, I always talk about how, uh, you know, that... Uh, Six of Wands victory card is kind of narcissistic. They got to win. They got to win, win, win. They cannot lose. So it's that losing creates this injury where they will, they cannot maintain that false persona and that, that grandiosity. So it's really tanked. Uh, and so basically they're perfectionist. And when it's not achieved, they get, they feel guilt. She's been publicly guilt, shame, anger, anxiety is all like highly triggered. So what do they do? They mentally check out and that's that mortal wounding that we're saying. Total mortal, mortal wounding look. Um, and she may not recover for a couple months. She's going to probably walk around like that for several months until someone or some, some public thing. Since I always say, often that the star card is the only thing that heals her. She needs that attention. Attention is attention is attention. She needs that star card feeling so she could spark new things so she can have a sense of fulfillment because it's a 19 card. She needs people to tell her yes. It's a yes card. So she feels like she's going down the right path. So she feels like she's in alignment so that she can have faith in her life. So she can have the fame. It's the fame card. So she's obsessed with fame as we know and nothing else will feed her ego. Uh, so this is why we're seeing what we're seeing. So I'm going to throw some cards. I'm opening my door because Odin is wanting out. So I had to walk away from the table for a second. And here I come back, taking care of the dogs now. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Mortal wounding. This is a mortal wounding spread here. And let's just do a little bell here. Yes. Okay, here we go. Hopefully everyone can hear me well and see the cards well. So now you know what it looks like. <clears throat> they get they have a very dark and disturbing look. It's very creepy. It's that shark eyed look. I've seen it before on several people. <laughs> I've seen it out in public too. I can spot it out in public when I can I can see it when someone's walking around looking dazed and kind of like checked out and their eyes look really dark. The reason why their eyes look so dark is because the pupil totally dilates. It gets really big. It's that predator kind of look. And uh, that's why they their eyes go black. And she had that look. She had that very distant, I'm checked out. I'm not here. I'm like walking in a movie and nothing's real. You know, that's that look. That's that derealization. She's walking around, but life just 
feels like she's walking around and she's not part of it. Uh, very uh, disturbing look. And that's like being a walking robot. Uh, they look very robotic when they're doing it. And, you, you know, and if you look at that video, you will see what I'm talking about. And you maybe then you can spot it in other people, even strangers when you're at the grocery store or something. You can take note of this kind of stuff and sort of self-educate yourself so that you get better and better at spotting it. And that's just really what it is. It's just being aware of it. And then you can start spotting it. And people won't like it, but it is what it is. Education is power. It's better to know what's going on around your surroundings than be ignorant. <clears throat> And such as being a sugar. I had to throw in my dig. <laughs> All right. So mortal wounding spread here. Mortal wounding. Yeah, I've seen it to the point with one narcissist I knew. She would be in bed for three or four months to the point where other people had to had to care for her. Almost like a, a you know, someone who was on their deathbed. That's how bad they can get. Really bad. Really bad. Where literally they need to be helped to go to the bathroom, even to get in the shower. They can get that sick. And I I wasn't around for it, but I heard about it by the person that was the caretaker, okay? Where they need that caretaker. And there, it's just a, a total mental collapse. So mortal wounding, mortal wounding. Let's get under the deck. Under the deck, yeah, she's a prisoner in her mind right now. She doesn't know how to get out of it. And she did it to herself. You know, this is that self-imposed limitation. She trapped herself. She did it to herself. So she's shamed. She's feeling guilty. She's feeling angry, the anxiety, because she can't reach that level of perfection she thought she could do because she thought she could overcome everything. She thought she was powerful enough, and she's not. So now she's all caught up in her head. Uh, she's immobilized by fear from the outside influences around her. That would be the media taking her down. That would be us taking her down. Everyone pointing out her errors. Uh, and she can't control it because it's outside of herself. Uh, so she's self-sabotage. She's in prison. She's in her own mental prison. So now she did have Harry join her in that mental prison. That gave her fuel. Harry is not with her to join in on that shared fantasy of the mental prison that she had to entrap him in. So she's on her own. So that's why we're seeing a mortal wounding. Then I'm going to now go with this main thing. Yep, she is. She's bothered by her own previous behaviors of the Nine of Swords. This is a spiral of negative emotions. Insomnia. She's not sleeping. She, she's restless. Life feels like a bad omen. She can't get out of it. Uh, so basically, and she's uncomfortable with past actions taken. She knows she did it to herself. These two cards are, I did it to myself. You know, past actions, it's the guilty conscience. Her conscience is ticking away at her because she can't reach that perfectionism. So the self-worth is down. She's, that's that weeping. She's weeping. She's not sleeping. No passion. Everyone's fleeing her. You know, look at the birds flying away. Even the birds don't want to hang out with this woman. So the wisdom is going out the door. I thought I was doing the smart thing. I really thought I was doing the smart thing, but I guess I wasn't. I trapped myself. Let's get the challenging position. There it is. That's what I was just saying earlier. She has to win. Win, win, win. Six of wands. That's the challenge. I need good news. I need victory. I need victory because I deserve it. I want to be popular. I want to be noticed. I need confidence. That's a challenge. That's why she did that pap walk because she needs confidence, but she doesn't have confidence. So what do they do? They, they go on a pap walk. She goes on a pap walk and she hires it for back grid. So she put out the payment for it. There they are. They get the double dip because they ha she has to pay for it. So sure, we'll come out. Uh, let's get some pictures of you and let's build up your confidence. So she's trying an attempt to fill out her ego balloon. It's that ego balloon. They just need that ego balloon. They just need one win to pick them up after a conflict. So she's feeling conflicted. I'm challenged. I need respect. I need people to think I'm on the right path and that I've earned it. I need attention. Attention is attention is attention. Give me recognition. Give me recognition so I can advance myself. That's a challenge. She can't attain it. So that's why we're at a mortal wounding. And let's do this, because this is the way I've been doing it lately. Here we go. Final call. I wonder what this is going to say. Here we go. Past situation that doesn't serve her is being dependent. And she's not, she's, she's greedy. She's greedy. She's focused on money. 
where's the buck? Where's the buck? I cannot be independent without him. So she could not maintain him. She's not feeling like any of her investments are coming into fruition. Everything she's put her time into was a waste of time. She did all this for nothing, in essence. Uh, poor judgment. No personal security, especially when it comes to money. So she's envious of others. She's moving with caution. She's a dependent individual. She's not an independent female empowerment. She's no, she's no one she claims to be at all. She's always been dependent. We've always known that. She doesn't have self-sufficiency. She cannot maintain finances. She's going through it like water. She's not content. She's not happy. It's coming to a very negative completion. A nine in reverse is a negative completion. She lacks the ability due to her dependency to even be independent. She does not want to be independent, you guys. She's got to cling on to someone else with her claw. Her claw needs someone else to feel like a winner. And she can't do that without, without someone that she can possess and own and control and, inv and invite into her mental prison. She's got nothing. So let's see, the focal point. Focal point, she's in debate mode with the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is she's stuck between choices. What do I do? I'm torn between two options. She's, she's feeling very confused, argumentative. Uh, she's at an intellectual crossroad. How do I get out of this? She's going to try and work at it with the Eight of Pentacles. I need self-improvement. I need to fulfill a promise to myself. I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to keep. She's not going to give up. This is her never giving up. I'm going to make progress. I'm going to put a plan together. I'm going to work at it. So this is why she called Backgrid. Going into the future, what are my options? I've, you know, what are my options? Her head's up in the cloud. Uh, it's a self-delusion card. So she's deluding herself with this path walk back to derealization, depersonalization, mortal wounding. What are, what's on the table for me? Literally, what is on the table for me? Very self-deluded, head up in the clouds, as one of my viewers said. Her head's literally in her backside. Uh, put a little differently. It was a little more... Uh, uh, honest on the feed but yeah you get my point <laughs> uh yes yeah, she's going to point out the errors of other people she's the problem child she's the problem child with the page of swords she will always be a problem child she's feeling disappointing news so what does she do mortal collapse uh she's she's going to do it for attention but um she's investigating other people so this investigation card she's been seeing and reading too many negative comments about herself and that's just not boding too well. So what does she do? She comes up with a light bulb moment of how to fix it because she's a problem child. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a problem. I'm gonna create a problem for Harry while and steal the limelight for him because I'm spying on him and I don't like it. So I'm gonna come up with a brilliant idea with that light bulb. She had this light bulb moment. She was gonna do something about it. Outside influences, yeah, she just needs to get out. She needs to get out. She's feeling the pain and suffering. She's she wants she knows she needs to leave. She's trying to recover, and she's trying. This was the only way to get harmony. This is I'm getting out of stormy waters to find some recovery, any kind of recovery for myself. I want people to think that I am recovering because it's an outside influence. So I want think people to think that you know I'm okay. I'm just I'm a little conflicted. It's a little painful place, but I'm okay. See me? I'm out and about. I'm moving. I'm in movement. Uh, I'm trying to attempt to find harmony and balance. I'm looking for opportunities. So she's looking for opportunities by thinking she can go on this little path walk, get out of this little stormy situation, being locked up at home. I'm going to go walking. I'm, I had this brilliant idea. So here we go. Next thing. I want people to think that I'm birthing new things. I'm hoping people will think that I'm active. I'm birthing new things. You know, I'm okay. I'm nurturing. You know, I'm the teacher of life. I'm, I'm building abundance. And, you know, I'm communicating. So this is her kind of virtue signaling. It's a form of communication for her to call the paps. This is her total virtue signaling. And then I'm making the right moves. I'm in collaboration and grow. So if she was wearing clothes. She's probably going to merch them. She's a merchandiser. So this is part of her collaboration so she can grow. So she's trying to birth selling clothing by wearing something that's completely inappropriate in 70-something degree weather. So she is merching, and she's having a repeated psychological pattern of failure, and everyone's her opponent. Harry is her opponent. It's a fall from grace. 
narc collapse, mortal wounding. Too many disagreements. There's been too many conflicts. It's she's at war. She's at war with herself, not so much other people. It's brain war within her head, just like this one's a brain war. She's at war. She's at war with herself, you guys, right here. These three cards all represent she's at war within herself. It's all caught up in her own mental mind. It is in her skull. It is not outside herself. It is inside herself. That's why the mask dropped. That's why the eyes went dark. That's why those pupils are dilated. That's why she looks totally mentally checked out because she is checked out. These three cards is total mental checkout, complete checkout. And she's losing. Everyone is her nemesis. Everyone's her nemesis. It feels like war out there. It feels like war. That's why she just, she's got to do something. I got to do something. I need to act. So total war within herself. This spread does, and this outcome completely uh, resonates with the fact that she's mortally wounded and the fact that she's so challenged to get attention. So this is attention is attention. I need people to celebrate me. I really need to lift myself up. She needs to fill that ego balloon. So yes, total mortal wounding. Let's get to the center of the deck. The past is gone. She cannot go back to the royal family. She's having problems. She's very nostalgic. Nostalgic can be very painful with the Six of Cups. So she's feeling the pain, but that past is gone. The loyalty was there, and what did she do? She ruined it. She destroyed it. So now she's look, looking, okay, where's the loyalty? Where can I be welcomed? Everything feels bittersweet. I need the comforts of home. I'm feeling, I need my youthful desires back. So she's going back in time when everything was wonderful and great and she got away with it. And nobody drew attention to it. So she's feeling this very nostalgia when she probably got away with it, but now she's not. She needs harmony. She wants to feel balanced. She wants to feel that she got opportunities. She wants opportunities because it's a six. Six is about harmony and opportunities. So that's why she had to go on the walk, the path walk to sell clothes. And she doesn't care about Harry whatsoever. The past with Harry is gone. And she does not have any consideration for him. This is a complete, total lack of consideration for other people with the, with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Upright, it's a message of caution. So yeah, she's in a really bad place. Urgency, forewarning. The focus never wavers, okay? It does it unexpectedly. So she did this at the last minute. And basically, she has no consideration for Harry. Her mind is mentally worn down. She feels like she's completely under attack. It's very much like the Five of Swords, where it's that war card in this position. So it's like a double doozy here. She feels like everyone's at war with her. And she's mentally worn down. This is totally mentally worn down with zero consideration for other people. And the war goes on. I'm going to create this war and battle. It's also self-harm. It's also a position of someone being very dangerous, a very dangerous individual, very dangerous individual. This person has zero consideration. They will take you down. You, you combine that with nostalgia and the past is gone and the person has zero consideration. Harry's at risk of her by the way she's looking. And she thinks it's a very intellectually smart thing to do. Why is she having such problems? There's no one she can depend on. She cannot find the right sugar daddy to take care of her. The royal family won't have her. Harry won't have her with the Knight of, Knight of Cups in reverse. And she needs to rise up. I need to rise up through all this thing. So, and there's a divorce right here with the devil in reverse. So this is why she's in this war zone. But it's all in her own mind. Uh, and it's a divorce, breakup. She has no, no, the money's going down. Uh, she cannot control her dark side and we have the we have this devil in reverse so with the devil in reverse she wants to get that enmeshment she's lost her enmeshments she's lost control she lost harry he's out doing his own thing with the page of wands he's out ex exploring doing his own things and she's left as a queen of pentacles in reverse she's envy she's greedy she cannot she cannot gather resources she cannot get resources Whoever boyfriend she has is just helping her, like I said before in a spread. It's really not a loving relationship of give and take. They're kind of using each other. It's not going to work out. I think she knows it. She knows she doesn't have them under control. With this devil in reverse, she doesn't have that fuel supply under control. She needs a place to belong with the five of pentacles in reverse. 
So with the five of pentacles in reverses, she needs a new purpose in life. So this is why she's falling apart. Another one here. She's feeling judged. She's feeling judged. She knows she should let go of all the um, disagreements and the grudges. And so she's feeling the judgment. Because other people, you know, it's this is like a final call, a final announcement. She knows the announcement's coming about the divorce. So she's falling apart. This is that mortal wounding because that announcement's coming up. Now she's going to be like, well, where do I go? Where do I belong? I'm going to need a new home. I need a place to belong. You know, where's my hope? Is this the end of my difficulty? She's she's She doesn't know what's going to happen to herself. So she's in this mental confusion, I think, too. Total mental confusion. She knows she's got to be forgiving and let go. But here we go. Mortal collapse. Mortal wounding. Where is my place to belong? Is this the end of my difficulty? I will never truly heal. This is where they can never heal, but she's going to have to accept it with the five of cups in reverse because we have a law card coming here. We have here the justice. This is a legal card, cause and effect of everything that's gone down. She doesn't have the support network. She doesn't have it. She needs money. She needs money with the ace of pentacles. She's at a, she's at a bottom here. She's at a bottom here. She's, 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 um, Feeling the burdens. The burdens on her back are getting to be too heavy. She needs help. She needs help, but she's gone down the wrong path with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. She doesn't know what her path is. She's not loyal and committed. She's never loyal and committed. And she cannot carry on anymore with the Nine of Wands in reverse. She, it's given up time. She's overly burdened. She doesn't know her path. Everyone's breaking up with her. She needs money. She's got to accept it. She's at a at the point of a hospital stay, a point at a, at a at a being committed hospital stay with the four of swords in reverse. That's that's commitment. That's that's a fifty one fifty hold right there. This is a fifty one fifty hold. These two right here because that self harm and total collapse and giving up, giving up and all bad plans. She did not make the right moves. She has no future. Her future's delayed. She's full. She doesn't know what's going to happen. She needs to choose a path. It's cancellation. People are canceling Megan. Megan has been markled. The, the, basically, everyone's markling Markle, okay? So she's been markled by herself and everyone's saying no to her. There are no opportunities. The crossroads are closed. That two of wands in reverse. What crossroad do you have now, Megan? The roads are closed. The nostalgia is gone. The past is gone. You will not be accepted back in. This is total collapse spread here. So I could keep going, but I'm going to stop because I can go through the whole deck and I will spare you that because then some people don't like that. So here we have very unfulfilled, very negative conclusion. This tungsten here is given up because the nine of wands is that she is wounded. It's the wounded warrior card, the nine of wands, and she's ready to, to call it quits. So this is complete. She needs to be 5150 hold. She needs to be put into the hospital because she probably needs to be really drugged up right now. I wouldn't be surprised if someone did do a 5150 on her. If she gets to the point of um, making making th th threats against herself on her own body, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. So, you know, it, it's there. The, the recipe... The ingredients are there for her to be hospitalized. So I have to agree with the Royal Griff that, yes, she's very, very dangerous. Very dangerous with this Knight of Swords. And she's a danger to herself at this point. Not only to Harry, but to her own body. And anyone who gets too close to her. Because uh, since she has total disregard for other people, uh, and we, the fact that we know she has a history of throwing things, biting, scratching, hitting... Uh, she can turn very violent to where it can happen, where they literally force it on her. Wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's already happened in the past, by the way. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.